A 13-month dispute between the union representing stagehands and management at New York's Carnegie Hall has ended. The disagreement over future working practices at the world-famous concert venue was bitter enough for the union to walk off the job on Wednesday, forcing this season's opening night to be abandoned, canceled. John Terrett has more. We have a deal. Congratulations to all. So how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. That old adage may help aspiring musicians get here on the stage with other members of an orchestra, but it turns out they may be better off financially as stagehands. What do you want? What do you want it? The concert hall's five full-time stagehands each take home on average around $400,000 a year, far more than many of the people performing here, and they've just won a fight with their bosses over which union will work in the building's new teaching center. The two dozen classrooms are part of a massive expansion here at Carnegie Hall that includes this tower. The stagehands wanted to run those rooms the way they run the auditorium. They do everything from shifting pianos to loading instruments on and off trucks under their existing contract. The management said, no, you're too expensive. If we do that, we take too much money away from education and give it to the unions. The deal means the union will represent workers in the new program, but the terms will be different than the existing contract. The union's president says it's a victory and a measure of the respect between his members and management no, at Carnegie Hall. Deal. We offered compromise where we have representation and we met them in a way where they, they have their ability to function. And, uh, you know, there's going to be some growing pains as you move forward with a new deal and a new space, but we wish them well. Carnegie Hall issued a statement after all was settled. Carnegie Hall is very pleased to reach this new agreement with IRC Local One, one that meets all of our institution's education needs as we work toward fulfilling the potential of our new spaces in Carnegie Hall's education wing. But many observers of this strike say the Carnegie management didn't so much compromise as cave. It indicates to me the power, the stranglehold even, that the union has over arts in New York. Here you have a union that could shut down Carnegie Hall on opening night. They could have their salaries published at every major publication. They could have every New Yorker going after them for the ridiculousness of those salaries. And yet they can still extract concessions from Carnegie Hall after all that. A victory for now, but in this difficult economic climate, a battle that is unlikely to go away, if not here in Manhattan, at concert venues all over the country trying to make ends meet. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, New York.